the best version of themselves. I just bit the inside of my cheek. That hurt. That hurt a lot, actually. Yo, it's Kurt Mac Fit Life Scope. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Listen, if this is your first time seeing me, this is Life Scope. We're a group of fit minded individuals working together to become the best versions of ourselves. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got a ton of videos, motivation, inspiration, and actual workouts that you can do. I'm currently trying to lose 30 pounds, and you can work along with me, help me lose weight. I can help you lose weight. You know, it's a win win. It's a win win so you know when I first started life scope it was there was a big focus on that mantra I have which is fit mind fit body right and mind comes first because even as a personal trainer when we train people and we um, set up programs you know you get that client they're like I want to lose weight I want to do this I want to do that and you could have the best scientific mind in the world you could say I got all these different movements I'm gonna do for you blah 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 set up a whole program for them however long you're excited about their results you're trying to get them excited about what you know is gonna happen if they follow your program and you know what they, they stop showing up and you'd be surprised at how many people, no matter how great of a motivational speaker you are, you'd be surprised at how many people will pay you for a service and not even go through with your service. Man, they probably would complain about it through the way. You as a trainer, you know what the goal is, you know the objective, you know you can help them accomplish that, but they are demotivated before you can even get to the end of the program. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of trainers out there that can empathize with that. But I say all of that to say, the fit mind aspect of this mantra was so that after having those experiences, I understood that in order for you to really achieve your goals, in order for you to really lose weight, and be fit, whatever that means to you, you gotta have the right mindset. You gotta have a fit mind first before you ever can accomplish these dreams of yours, especially in the realm of fitness and exercise, right? And so it reminded me of this old philosophy, this old Epicurean philosophy. It's like super old, like BC we're talking, right? And not that I believe in it, I'm just saying there's nuggets of wisdom that you can take away from it. So there's kinetic pleasure, and then there's catastomatic pleasure, right? And kinetic pleasure is that pleasure that's provided when you are doing a deed, right? So while I'm doing this thing, it provides me pleasure. Once I'm done doing this thing, the pleasure is gone, finito, right? Catastomatic pleasure, the idea behind that is that you are still feeling this feeling of pleasure long after the deed is done. Now. I'm not saying that our goal should be pleasure. That's not what I agree. I don't necessarily agree that life is all about pleasure or whatever, all that stuff. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the nuggets of wisdom you can take from that is that, or rather I'll pose a question. What is it that you are focusing all your energy on, right? Are you focusing all your energy on that kinetic pleasure? Are you going online and you're looking at ads and you're looking at Instagram and you see these models and you see all this stuff and you're focused on that? Or are you catastomatic pleasure? Are you working on things that are gonna provide you consistent pleasure even when the deed is done? right so let's let's just take for example going to the bar right we can go to the bar we can have a few drinks it's fun 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 right but the next morning if you have a hungover hangover it's not so fun right it's not so fun to have a hangover after drinking all night i mean it's not fun for me it might be fun for some of y'all but it ain't fun it don't feel good right but the pleasure was that night right drinking with your friends is the pleasure but the next morning it ain't so pleasurable right so catastomatic pleasure. What is working out? What is fitness? What is exercise? Exercise can be kinetic pleasure, right? You can enjoy being working out with a friend or working out with a hot trainer or whatever, and you get pleasure out of it, but once you leave that building, once you leave that room, you're like, eh, it's not so fun anymore. But what you don't understand is that fitness, if taken seriously, if taken seriously, fitness can provide you pleasure 
long after your workouts, right? It can get you hormonally balanced. It can get you in the right mindset. It can get you stronger, better equipped to take on the challenges of life, just having these struggles physically that you're going through. I mean, there's a lot of science behind this stuff and I don't need to get into that right now. The biggest question, the biggest takeaway from this rant that I'm doing is what is it that you're putting your energy into? Is it these small kinetic pleasures? Is it these small things that don't really yield too many long-term fruits? Are you spending all your efforts and energy on stuff that's not gonna do much for you, right? Or are we spending our energy on things that are gonna help us to improve our futures, help us to improve our situations, help us improve our relationships, our friendships? Are we focusing on those things? Or are we focusing on having a drink at the bar? the next part, the next quick wham bam thank you man right are we are we just looking for those quick pleasures because if we are then i would say you know my goal in life at least is to have one that's fruitful have one that's um maybe touched a few people just a few maybe somebody you know something i said or something i did inspired someone else you know these are the things that I've strived for throughout my life, you know, on and off, obviously, we have our ups and our downs, but this is something that I've strived for, this was the reason that I started this channel, and um, honestly, I think it's something to keep in the forefront of your mind, like, what are you spending energy on, these small kinetic pleasures, or the catastomatic ones, you know, where you, you aren't suffering as much, where you aren't hurt as much, you are feeling good, you're feeling vital, and I truly believe exercise is one of those things, and there's a whole bunch Bunch of reasons there's old videos I've done that you could probably look at and see these reasons in in fruition but um, I just wanted to leave that thought with you there is a Tabata video coming up very soon thank you for hanging out with me thank you for listening um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already like the video start a dialogue you know what what do you feel like you're spending your energy on is it long-term things or you know these short-term kinetic pleasures these quick ones more than a few pounds down with more than a few pounds of muscle we're stronger we're wiser we're better than we were yesterday fit mind fit body this is kurt mack fit and i'm back